Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Halo Infinite Series Spartan Air Assault with the Needler. This is a packaging that it comes in. On the top we have the Halo logo with the nice green cardboard. A very large uh, clamshell showing off the figure and accessories. On the bottom left we do have the uh, Master Chief photo. Uh, it says an eight, I guess it's eight and, and older is the age recommendation. It says one set. This is series two. We have the nameplate at the bottom with the white and the uh, orange pinstripe. And then we have the Halo Infinite logo there on their bottom right. It's a very uh, interesting style packaging. Nothing much to see on top. There is a uh, retractable kind of uh, hanger. Here on the sides, it just says Halo with the orange pinstripe. Do we have a logo here? And on this side, we have UNSC on the top. And then we have the Halo with the orange pinstripe here on the side. On the back of the packaging, they have uh, now have product images of other figures that are being offered instead of just having the Master Chief photo with him running. At the top, we have the Halo New World of Halo scale. Um, then these are the six figures that are currently available as of this video. Uh, it's in this wave with the uh, Aerosol Spartan. I've actually already have a review up for this sniper if you want to check that out. And very soon we'll be doing a review for the robot. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of packaging and see what he looks like. So once you cut all the tape on the sides and on the top, you can open up the bottom. Pull out the clamshell. Just remember that the uh, stand's in the back part and don't toss it and forget about it. And uh, cause you're, it's easier to forget cause it's not inside the clamshell. It's just pretty much glued on the piece of plastic to pop it off. Okay, here he is freed from the packaging. Yeah, there's not a whole lot um, of detail to it besides, um, it's very nicely sculpted. There's a lot of detail in sculpting, but as for paint, there's not much. You have a, uh, it's very cross between a dark gray versus a flat black um, coloring. Then it has a lot of a silver dry brushing on it to really make it pop. And then he has an orange arm, armor. So, uh, it's not much uh, in, in paint wise. But he does have a very nice uh, helmet sculpt. Does have a silver um, face shield. He has a uh, very heavy dry brushing on his helmet. Which is very nicely done, very nicely sculpted. It looks very cool. We have a device here on the one side of his helmet. It's done in black. We have the dry brushing on the uh, chest and the waist. Here on this arm, there is some dry brushing with black gloves. On this side, we have the orange arm. It has a metallic to it. If it shows you through through the camera or not, but it has like a. They might have maybe used a metallic wash or something to make it pop out like that. Back looks good. Very nice. Lots of sculpt work going on. Do have some print on the back of his leg. Nice looking figure. Very cool. Is a 360 look. There's a peg hole in his back. Very nice. So for the articulation, his head does um, turn 360, but it kind of gets stuck air on the back piece here, but you can get it to go right around. It's not much for down and up. It's a tad bit. There's side to side. Arms on a ball joint. They rotate 360. They go up about that much until these shoulder pads here hit the chest armor. Like we have uh, elbow rotation 360. 
And we have elbow bends on both arms, if I can get it the right position. There we go. I'm not getting much of a bend ratio due to the, the sculpt. It's not even getting anywhere near 90 degrees. The wrists rotate 360 and they do in in and out on the uh, both wrist. Okay, he has some chest articulation. You have a side to side, ab crunch, not much back. And the ab crunch kind of stops with this little piece here. Uh, you could get, yep, it goes 360 all the way around. For sitting, he does seem to sit pretty good. You should have no problem setting your Warthog or even on your Mongoose motorcycle. It's pretty much the same mold as the other ones. You can do a split about that much until the armor hits the crotch area. And the same for the back side here. And then obviously you can get a little farther up. You just have thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. Very fluent. And for his feet, they do pivot down, they pivot up, they rotate 360. And you have a little side to side for some side kicks. Overall, not bad. Not at all. It looks really cool. I love the silver dry brushing on this figure. For his accessories, we do have a stand. These stands do interconnect with each other for other figures. This is a like a dirt and grassy kind of paint scheme. Not bad. And if you have one from any other sets, you just simply turn it and it will snap together. And you can create yourself a nice grassy terrain if you have enough of them. For his weapon, it comes with this, they're calling the Needler. Um, to me, it's kind of like an alien gun. Um, I'm not much of a Halo, I don't play the Halo game, so, but I wish it had more of a Spartan weapon, like a, a rifle or something, like a missile launcher, or something at least, in that effect. But we have a purple little spiky plastic here, this is done in a grey plastic with purple on the top and bottom. It's a very unique looking weapon. Okay, for some comparisons, here he is with Master Chief. Master Chief is actually a bit taller than uh, the Air Assault Spartan. Here he is with another Spartan. And here he is with the blue one. Very cool. I do hope we get to see a red one. I do like to have a red one. Be very cool. But he scale pretty well together it looks like master chief has just got a little bit of height on him but the other three the blue and white one along with the air assault spartan they're all about the same height and here he is with a couple of the troopers so obviously he's a little bit bigger because he's a spartan and he's because of the armor but they look fantastic together for a 118 scale um the air assault spartan um, picked him up at Walmart for like nine ninety six, so he's pretty for ten bucks. It's a good figure, um, well worth the money, especially with the articulation you get and the uh, sculpting. So, yeah, it doesn't have the greatest arm. In my opinion, it doesn't have the greatest uh, arm bend ratio, but uh, it's a really cool figure, and that's about all I have to grab about. Besides the uh, the weapon, I like to have a different weapon. There's a rifle or something. So two things, the right accessory, missing on the rifle, and uh, the bend ratio on the elbows. But everything else is really nice for, for what you're paying for. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this new Air Assault Spartan. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and share the video. And we will see you guys in our next review.